Alrighty, hello software. Um, so this is theory. This series is going to be about object-oriented programming. All right. So Varun is going to cover the basics of Java all the way up to how to make methods. And if you only know, really know how to do that, you're going to start from here, and I'm going to teach you object-oriented programming. All right. So this is this video is going to be kind of our intro to object-oriented programming. All right, so you can start off with opening up your VS Code. Right. Um, and I'm going to open a folder I already made. If you already have a folder made for all of this, go ahead and do that. So I'm opening up my folder. All right. Uh, and I made a little directory within the folder called intro to classes. Right. And for these videos, I've, the best way I learned, at least when I learned programming, I did it by just copying what I saw and then trying to do it myself. Um, we'll be giving you practice problems in our synchronous meetings. Uh, but I also encourage you to try to copy along and f follow very closely while I do the demonstrations. All right, so I'm going to make uh, a new file. And you don't have to copy along this part, knowing about this part. So make a new file. I'm going to call it just main. OK, oh, sorry, not main. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm in to call it uh, main.java. There we go. OK, and so. What well, you probably learned from Varun, right? You're probably very familiar with making public class main and then like public uh, static void mains string. Oops, args, right? Uh, you're familiar with the main method by now, right? And we can of course like do stuff like um, print uh, things out. I can say hello, right? I can make variables. Oops. I can make variables like int val or even like a double val equals 0 0.001 and I can print these values out, right? Uh, I could say print uh, val. When I run this, of course, right, I'm going to get hello and then 0 0.0001. All right, we're familiar with this, right? This is regular programming where the program just leads line by line and execute what it sees. Right? You can do this in C++, you can do it in C, Swift, uh, Kotlin, Java, Python, any language support this. right? But what makes Java special and what makes Java powerful is object-oriented programming. Right? So that's what we're going to kind of have a brief look at in this video. Right? So what object objects do, they allow us to embody or symbolize a real-life object or a real-life concept or what an idea of yours into actual code. That's their sole purpose, and that's what makes Java beautiful. Right? So I'm going to run through an example this time, right? And also, as we as we um, as we go through the videos, we'll have more and more tools on our uh, more more and more tools to more accurately and more dynamically describe objects. So this starting video is going to be pretty simple, but we're going to get harder and harder and more intricate as we go. Okay, so uh, just our kind of our first object to describe, I have this book here. It's one of our school textbooks. Uh, it's called uh, World Religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Right? It's about those three religions, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work to embody or symbolize this book in code. Right? So how are we going to do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into our folder. I'm going to make a new file, and then I'm going to call it book dot Java, book dot Java, right? It'll auto auto generate this public class book for me, right? But this time we're not going to put a main method in there, right? Instead we're going to give it we're going to give it variables and attributes and methods, right, to describe this book, right? So let's what I'm going to do that is I'm going to make some variables to like symbolize and quantify what this book is. So I'll give you an example, right? Um, it's page count, right? I think this book has um, about 2,000 pages, so in page count equals 2,000, right? It has um, kind of this brownish cover, so I'm going to make a string, uh, call it uh, cover color, and I'm going to say it's brown. Oops. Um, it's a hardcover book, so I'm going to make uh, a boolean, right? It is hardcover. Uh, I'm going to say it's true, right? If it's false, it means a soft code book. Right? Um, what else? I can I can symbolize the author, right? Um, the author is Jack Miles. Uh, 
Um, and yeah, publisher. Why not? Okay, so publisher equals uh, David or Norton. Norton is a publisher, right? So here we gave book a bunch of variables describing what it is. We also want to give this book some action, right? Um, say you make another variable called boolean. Is it open? Is book open, right? And I'm going to start it as false, right? Because I have the book closed right now. Uh, and I'm going to make a few methods that modify the boolean is book open and allow a, a user of your method or a user of the book to either open or close the book, right? Very simple. Uh, it's going to be a void method. So we're going to say uh, avoid um, open book. And we're just going to say is book open equals true. And we make another method called void uh, close book. And we're going to say is book open equals false, right? So now by calling these methods, we modify that variable that controls if it's open or not, right? And thus we can we can describe and dynamically tell the book to be open or not open, right? So I think we've done a pretty good job of describing the book. So how do we use this book class we just made, right? So I'm going to go back to the main method, go back to here. And the way we kind of call upon this book is the following. Right, so I'm going to say book, right, and because because book is in the same folder right here, we don't have to have it add an import statement. We'll get into what those mean and how to do that later, right? But just remember, if it's in the same package, you don't really need to import it. Uh, so I'm going to say book. Uh, I'm going to call it book equals new book, and that's how we that's how we kind of bring this idea of the book we made in our class to life, right? That's what we call upon it. Um, and say I want to print out uh, some of the attributes of the book, right? Um, so I'm going to say it's not a print, print then. Right, I'm going to say book dot. And when you say the dot, when you put the dot on, it will, VS Code will automatically show all you, the methods and variables um, you have to access in the book, right? So here, of course, we have author, cover, color, is book open, is hardcover, page count, and publisher. These are the ones we've made, right? We also have all these other methods, right? And we'll get into what those mean later. Uh, but just know if you see that, that's what that's all about, right? So book dot, um, say we want to print out uh, its cover color, right? And so if you run this, we should see after hello and vow, you should see the cover color of brown. Let's see if you see that. And that there it is, right? So what, what Java did is it looked into the object we created and it looked for the color cover color attribute. It looked for the value it's storing and then printed it out in the print lid. Okay. Um, we also had that is book open attribute, right? So let's let's call upon that, right? Uh, book dot shoot uh, is book open. And if you think about it, right, we started the book open to be false. So if we run this code, it should say brown and then false. And there we go, brown and then false, right? So again, it looked into the book, it looked for the is book open attribute, and then printed, uh, printed it out, right? And we made the methods, right? So remember, so objects, they can have variables that store their state and methods that allow you to modify that state. Okay, let it allow you to dynamically and like interact with the object you just created, right? So one way we interact with books is opening it, right? So uh, we can call that book dot uh, open book or close book, or sorry, open book, yeah, open book method. Um, and now if we print the book dot is book open variable. Now we should see it turn from false up here to after we call this method to true down here. So when we run this, we get, yeah, brown, false, and then true after we call that method. Okay. So I think we did a pretty good job with the book. Um, let's do another example. Um, what can we do? Ooh, I have this mask. 
uh, this black mask, right? It's cotton. It has these nice elastic bands on it. My favorite mask, right? Um, and so I'm gonna make another class, a uh, new file. I'm gonna call it mask dot Java, and I'm just gonna start giving an attribute. So uh, string color equals black. Um, string material equals cotton. Um, what else? Uh, string size. I don't know if masks have size or not. New string. New string. I don't know if masks have size, but I'm just gonna say it's a size 12, whatever that means, right? Um, and also I'm gonna give it an attribute because what the way we interact with mask is putting it on our face or not putting it on our face, right? So I'm gonna make a an attribute variable. I'm gonna call it boolean is on face, and right now it's not on my face, so I'm gonna say it's false. Right, um, and then I'm gonna make two methods: public void, or not public. We don't know it yet. Uh, so just void set on face, and I'm gonna say is on face equals true. And then I'm gonna say I'm gonna make another method uh, set off face, and I make that variable is on face equals false. Right now, if you go back to our main method, right, we can again make bring this mask to life in our main method where things run. I can do that by just saying uh, mask equals or oh, sorry mask mask equals new mask. All right, we've brought this object to life, and now we can interact with it and do whatever we want with it. Right, so I'm going to say uh, what's so we use the mask dot find the attribute we're going to say. Say I want to print out the size. Right. If I run this, yeah, size 12, All right? So this video is again is covering how we ba make basic classes that store an attribute of a single object. Again, classes allow us to bring real life objects into life and into our code, right? They allow us to describe the things there we see around us. And as we keep on growing our tools on how to describe the objects, and how to um, handle objects and how to use objects, right? You'll come to see what makes Java so beautiful, right? Um, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you have a nice week.